right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Moon, and as well rising, a weekly career tarot reading, December 23rd to December uh, 29th, 2019. And while I'm shuffling the cards, guys, if you do want to get in touch with me for a, a personal reading, uh, you can check the description down below where uh, you're going to find my website. And as well, you're going to find there your weekly love tarot reading also. So if you care to check this one out, check the description down below. That being said, moving into the spread for, uh, for the career for you, the first card that refers to the topic uh, of your career week, this is going to be the Seven of Wands, followed by the energies that is uh, supporting the topic, we do have the Five of Swords. Afterwards, the third card here represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week uh, in regards to career, that is going to be the Four of Swords. Uh, the, fourth, the fourth card here represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the fifth card here, which is how other people see you, how your colleagues see you, how your boss and supervisors are seeing you, and in general, you know, those who are, involving into, who are involved into your career, how they see you as an individual. The other card here represents uh, what is going to help your long-term goals career-wise, and that is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. The sixth card stands as what can hurt your long-term goals, that is going to be the Hermit. And then the last one, it refers to the guidance that Taro is offering to you. We do have the Five of Wands. Okay, quite sort of a... Um, a uh, rough week it is that we do have for you, Cancer, in regards to career. This is uh, the week where you have to address many um, uh, predicaments that other people caused for you, okay? Uh, it looks like that as well could be caused by you entrusting the wrong people, especially with the Five of Swords as the energy. It's a very... Um, how can I say it? It's very possible that you gave uh, into the hands of incompetent people or incompetent co-workers very important aspects of certain projects. They have failed and they have the audacity right now to blame you for that failure. That is because the topic itself, which is the Seven of Wands, it points to problems and predicaments which are firstly fed up from uh, gossips, rumors, talks behind one's back, and, uh, and generally, instead of uh, one thing, one career or one position, you know, one job, to be like a well-synchronized machine, it kind of looks more like a pantomime instead. So what you can do here in regards to this topic, it's uh, actually addressing straight away the failures or the lack of um, fulfillment of expectations right away and um, assessing the situation and putting the blame of the failure to the right person immediately. Okay, this week you will need to have that uh, keen readiness to act in the right moment and in the right time. And you need to know as well that there are going to be many peripheral forces, exterior forces that are going to cause obstacles and issue for you getting your job done. And finally, um, in the most negative way to uh, interpret those two cards, you may be bossed out by your supervisor or by your boss as well. So the other card here points to the challenges that you need to overcome. And that is the, the challenge of the Four of Swords. Um, how can I say it here? Well, uh, that is the challenge where um, you... Sh it's again addressing the issues, all right? And talking the things with their, or naming the things with their right names, right? Addressing the things with their right names, with their right face. When things are going bad, okay, you have to address that. You have to say the things are going bad. If someone have not done their job, you need to say it. You have not done your job, 
okay? The four of uh, swords here, it is the challenge where certain very uncomfortable uh, issues, they need to be uh, brought out on the surface and they need to be addressed immediately. And I mean immediately, instead of pretending that those issues like lack of synergy, you know, in between you and your partner in project, um, kind of like lack of a lack of competence as well from a certain individual that as well work with you uh, it's kind of like you pretend that those issues are not existing well they are existing and they are causing a, a severe setback guys so that is a the week once again where you need to address all the obstacles you are facing and you need to raise your voice about it and um, as well you need to intercept, intercept any kind of harmful um, influence that your co-workers are addressing towards you through rumors gossips and talks behind your back so the um, other card here points the blessings and the gifts that you can enjoy throughout this week in regards to your career. We do have the Two of Pentacles. So the Two of Pentacles uh, in this case um, kind of like um, uh, represents a certain shifts that you may uh, that you may experience shifts in a way. How can I describe it? Um, well, I would say that you will have the uh, the chance to manage more than one thing at once okay and uh, by that it looks like that you're not just only gonna save time for yourself that is but as well uh it looks like that you can rearrange resort restruct not exactly restructure but redefine i would say certain strategies especially in those kind of aspects that you do find your plan a bit outdated and it needs to be uh, redefined according to the new um how can I say it to the new uh, to to the development of the situation in a, a brand new way? So, in other words, you are can enjoy the gift and the blessing of being adaptable and positioning yourself in the most uh, beneficial standpoint according to the situation that lies ahead. So the other card here represents how the others is gonna see you, how your boss, your coworkers, your supervisor are gonna see you. We do have the Knights of Wands, and that is a person hungry really for a, a, a new enterprise, is hungry for new projects, a, a person who never says no, a person who never says I cannot do it, but a person who tries out and eventually finds a way through. So that is a, a very good impulse and momentum here to kind of like uh, suggest you to suggest you know, to be given a bigger responsibilities that's, uh, how can I say it, that can be played around with, okay? That's, that's the key point here, that you need to play around with those, uh, with those projects until you find the right way to perform upon them. The other part uh, represents what you can do in order to help your long-term goals, and that is the Eight of Pentacles. So first of all, you need to lean toward the keen eye you have for the minor details, especially having that topic. This is how you are going to identify where the danger, the menace, the threat is coming from. Second thing, it is that whatever you do throughout this week, you need to, uh, how can I say it, to um, aim for a almost close to perfection. So do not leave things undone. Additionally, whatever you take on uh, as a task or as a responsibility throughout this week, you need to show conscientiousness in regards to it. To it. And finally, the card points that you do have a plan that you have developed for quite some time. Well, that is the week where you start performing upon it, you manifesting that plan. The other card here stands as what can hurt your long-term goals, and that is the Hermit. Now, that is a bit uh, heavy, okay? That is a bit unpleasant, and the Hermit here points that you are not ready for the big jump yet. Okay, and that is kind of understandable because there are so many issues that you have to address right now, not to mention that you do have enemies. Okay, 
in your career, in your work or in your business that they need to be addressed before the path is clear for you to make a decisive moves okay so the best thing with the hermits it is uh, not to give yourself let's say a rest but instead um how can i say it um instead try to consolidate as much as you can your current endeavors your current a uh, um, uh, enterprises you know and especially position at work and in the market if you have a private business and the last card here for you, Cancer, it is the guidance that Tsaro is offering to you. That is the guidance of the Five of Wands. And uh, the Five of Wands uh, kind of points that you should not try to avoid, um, how can I say it, dynamic, right? You, you should not uh, avoid as well a kind of challenging, uh, challenging enterprises and as well challenging endeavors. So just as the Knights of Wands uh, uh, suggested here that you have to experiment, you have to try, all right? You need to um, kind of find better way through. And the guidance here, additionally to that, uh, urges you not to be biased about the outcome of certain situations. Because right now, the outcome is anybody's guess. And uh, if you play your cards right, um, while right now you're finding yourself on the bottom, you may suddenly, you know, re-immerse on the surface and even get the upper hand in an uh, enterprise project or an endeavor that you almost scratched out. So that being said, Cancer, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, uh, career tarot reading for December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And if you want to get in touch with me for a private reading or you want to uh, look at your uh, love tarot reading for that very same week, you can check the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website and as well, and as well a link to the other video. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.